live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering ServiceNow, Knowledge17. Brought to you by ServiceNow. We're back, hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick, and we're here live at Knowledge17. This is our fifth year. Ian Proctor is here. He is the Director of Consulting at Deloitte. Ian, great to see you. Great to see you guys too. So, we were talking off camera, Jeff and I, when we, we did our first knowledge, we basically said, look, for this to really explode, you need the big consultancies to support this. They're the ones who have the relationship, the deep domain knowledge, the industry expertise. Ian, you've been at this for longer than most, <laughs> uh, certainly longer than most of the most new of the senior management. here. <laughs> uh, so, tell us a little bit about sort of your background, a little bit on Deloitte, of course, a well-known firm, but specifically your ServiceNow practice. Yeah, absolutely. So I have a bit of a unique trajectory uh, in terms of working with ServiceNow. Uh, now I started off as a customer. I was working at an airline in Canada uh, by the name of WestJet Airlines. It's Canada's second largest airline and uh, we were growing very quickly and we had internal challenges with legacy platforms and I was actually speaking at a conference and somebody approached me about uh, a new platform that could maybe really help. And uh, so, you know, over the course of about 10 months, I, I grew to understand uh, ServiceNow as a technology, had the chance to meet Fred Luddy, and uh, really get an appreciation for the underlying platform. What year was that? Around? That was uh, 2011, I'd say. Okay. Right? And so that was, um, it was a big move back then, right? And when I took the ServiceNow opportunity to my executive at that time, um, no one had ever heard of it. And you know, uh, moving outside of your own data center was a bit scary back then. Um, and we did a very successful transition in the early stages. So ServiceNow deployed at a major airline in Canada uh, in that time frame was kind of a unique story. And I became a reference client and I had a background in consulting. I'd been at Deloitte previously. And I saw the opportunity to take uh, the technology platform of ServiceNow and go back to my consulting roots and the uniqueness of our deep relationships, of our focus on business transformation, and bring those two together. And so myself and one other key leader in uh, Deloitte by the name of Dan Slokar, him and I um, essentially began building that practice in uh, 2012. And here we are today, 2017, um, and it's been a fantastic journey. As a globally networked firm, we get to interface with a lot of C-level executives of major corporations across the globe. And they, they have a unique set of needs. Their global operating models need to be integrated. And so ServiceNow is a platform looking at that as a realization of integration. And, and so when you look at like the Deloitte expertise in operating models and in really driving true business transformation to generate business value, that's where this synergy has become so strong. And we see a lot more opportunity, uh, as does ServiceNow, to move into what might be uh, not classically viewed as IT areas and getting into industry vertical specific solutions where Deloitte has a very deep and rich background in understanding what it takes to make that business work. So one of the unique advantages that Deloitte has, obviously, as you point out, Ian, is their relationships. Is, I mean, is a hand, you can count on one hand the number of companies who have that type of presence in the boardroom at the C-suite. So my question is, what are you hearing from those customers? Uh, I know you're in a lot of different industries, but broadly, everybody talks about digital transformation, but what are some of the big themes that they're asking you for help with these days? Yeah, I mean, that's a great question because today's challenges are a lot different than yesterday's challenges. But where Deloitte is uniquely positioned is that we've been on a journey with a lot of these clients for a long time. And they expect us to bring them the best across all many number of domains. While I focus on technology transformation to drive business value, we have a risk practice, we have a financial advisory practice. And so getting tighter integration inside these global organizations to drive out some of that transformative change, like you mentioned it um, about the digital transformations. Our view is around reimagining the digital experience and how that extends into multiple different business units and how, you know, very similar to the messaging that we were seeing over the last couple of days for, from John and the executive was uh, these organizations 
can't be viewed as a whole bunch of separate organizations. And this kind of business transformation is something that Deloitte's been helping clients with for a number of years, to drive out process efficiencies, to drive out different ways of delivering. And I think now that we've got the technology platform that enables that, the opportunity to take what we've experienced over the last couple of years and apply it in industries you may not think of, like oil and gas, or in the financial services industry, they're desperate for innovation, but they also exist within regulatory frameworks that necessitate a lot of visibility, transparency, auditability. And so when you take that knowledge of like the financial service sector and you pair that with what you can do with ServiceNow, that's, that's what our clients are expecting from us. I'm curious, everybody knows, right, financial services is usually on kind of cutting edge of new technology, right? That's their business, they have to stay fast and furious and out on the edge. But are there some industries that people probably don't think of that you've seen as you know, aggressive adopters with huge ROI in this type of technology? Absolutely. I mean, I'm based in Western Canada, and so there's a large oil and gas footprint in Western Canada. Um, some of the largest multinationals are headquartered there. Um, and so in the oil and gas segment, there are unique challenges with operating in remote areas. And so having to always rely on the classic uh, technologies which bound you to your desk just don't work, right? I mean, when you're in a remote operating site working on an oil well, for example, and you need to notify somebody that the wellhead has a crack in it, well, how are you going to do that, right? Are you going to call somebody? Well, you may not have sat reception, or the guy is miles away. And so when you think about the unique business challenges in there, a, a, an interesting story about that is, you know, we were helping a client in that regard as an IT advisor. So we had ServiceNow on, a, on an iPad and we were sitting there using it and the rig manager looked over and said, Ian, what's that? And I said, oh, this is ServiceNow. We use this to kind of route work to each other and get work done and it, there's some reporting and here's some dashboards. He said, can I have that? I said, well, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And so, you know, this is one example where these business use cases um, show up naturally. And then, since we've been at this a while, like you mentioned, I've been doing this since 2012, uh, we, we see these trends, and so we can take innovations from one segment, reimagine them, and apply them to a different segment. All right, we got we to gotta go, but I'll give you the last word, sort of, kind of fast forward to knowledge 17 here, yeah. using your experience. What do you see as the big opportunities for you guys going forward? You mentioned going beyond IT. Maybe you could sort of summarize where yeah, you see sure. you wanting to take your clients. Yeah, I think you know, two key messages that I'll close on. It's really reimagining the digital experience. And, and that means different things to different people. Mm -hmm. It's an important conversation to be had to say, what are you trying to drive from a business value standpoint? And then secondly, looking at segments that can benefit from all the lessons learned we've had uh, delivering technology. And, and the big one there is in the financial services industry, in the core business. And so those two areas are really going to be a game changer for all of us. Yeah, great stuff from somebody who really knows this community. Thanks for coming <laughs> on theCUBE. Thanks guys, great to see you. <laughs> all right, appreciate it. Take care. Take care, have a good rest of the show. All right, keep it right there everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE, we're live from Knowledge17. We'll be right back. <laughs>